We're here with Andrew Pancio. Uh, you just had a, a solid performance with uh, Roger Speed Gonzalez. Tell me about the, the fight. Well, the fight was a really good fight. Uh, I believe it was a fast-paced fight. Um, you know, Roger tried to box and all that, and I think uh, I was in there landing the the, the better punches, um, more combinations. I mean, he, he liked to run and and be on the ropes, and um, I just think, didn't think he was uh, effective. Um, he didn't pressure the fight. He just wanted to to, to just out try to outbox me, but I don't think he was the one outboxing me. I think I landed the the cleaner punches. I was the aggressor. You know, I had him dazed. I believe in the eighth round and. It was the end of the bell, but you know, I he started holding on towards the end, the end of the, the fight, and um, I think I landed a lot of good body shots and stuff. And I just thought I was just a solid fighter that night. You know, I don't feel that I, I've lost the fight. At any point, like in the beginning of the rounds, did you have a little bit of trouble adjusting to him, like him wanting to box, maybe his speed a little bit? Uh, I would say that I try. I was, I was getting a little bit relaxed. I, I, um, I felt myself going back to my old ways. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm with Danny Garcia now, and um, he he was showing me a lot of head movement, a lot of angles and stuff, which I, I think I was doing very well. And I did I did feel myself going back to my old ways, but once I went back to moving my head and and um, going in, I yeah, I started seeing the punches better, and, and I don't think he he landed landed as much, you know. I don't I don't see him winning six rounds uh, and me only winning four. The crowd, they all. You know, say you won. How do you feel about the victory? Like, do you think maybe if give it maybe ten more seconds in the fight, maybe one more round, the decision would it wouldn't have gone to a decision? Uh, I think yeah, I believe so. I um, I kind of I I had more in the tank. I wasn't tired. He was fatigued. I I, I mean, he, well, he was doing a lot of running around. I think if I would have known that the judges had it a little bit closer than that, I would have put more pressure on him in the 10th round or 9th round. But I felt I, I did a lot of pressure and, and I, I hit him in the body and I don't think he was doing much besides running around a lot. You changed corners. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, how's, how's it going for you? How do you, how well, do you like it over there? The way, I mean, I love it. I think Danny's a really good trainer. Um, you guys see what he did with Victor Ortiz. Um, me and him, were, we've only trained for two solid weeks, and then this week was only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then, then in those two and a half weeks, he showed me a lot. He showed me what I was doing wrong. He showed me different angles, you know, what I can do with different scenarios. And it was only two and a half weeks, and, you know, I think we, we can both sit there and say that we like where it's going. And um, I'm really excited to continue working with with uh, both him and his son. I think they have a good eye, and and I think they're gonna they're gonna develop me into being a world a world champ. In, in two and a half weeks, you found that he's pointed out a lot of things. Do you feel maybe give it a, a little more time working with him? That definitely it's gonna be oh a most big improvement? most definitely. Um, imagine an eight week camp with with Danny Garcia. It's it's different. Um, we, I had I had uh, managerial issues and uh, trainer issues, and uh, that's in the past now. So you know, I made a drastic change. I left my family behind in Blythe and to go and, and train in uh, in Ventura with, with uh, Danny. You know, my brother he he lives out there. So you know, thank God he he um, gave me a place to stay. And you know, like I said, you know, Danny was in Russia with his Russian fighter. So I trained a week by myself, and then when he came back, we got to work. And in those two weeks, I think we connected real well, and it's gonna—it's only gonna get better from here. Uh, we're not—I mean, we're mad about the decision. I could understand if I lost and I felt it, but I never felt it. You know what I mean? I just even right now, I'm not mad. I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, there's some things that um, we we could have done different, but every fight you learn, and this fight—it's it's a learning experience. And like I said, with eight weeks with uh, Danny Garcia, it's gonna be different for my next fight. Okay, it's going to be eight weeks of just me, him, and, and his son, and, and it's going to be different. You know, we try to cram everything in, in two and a half weeks, and I still think we, we came out, the, you know, victorious. Training in Oxford, do you feel uh, there's less distractions out there? you feel more, more concentrated in your fights? Training, training in Ventura is, uh, I feel like a, a, a real professional. Mm -hmm. I, I was in, in Blythe for... for I've been in Blythe for 23 years. I was born and raised, and you get comfortable to your surroundings. 
And when I when I moved out there, the only thing it was was waking up, running, resting, and, and going to the to the gym. I'm good. And um, when when I when I get to to Knuckleheads Gym, it's, it's straight to work. Mm-hmm. When I get up and go run, it's straight straight working. There, there was nothing. I mean, I didn't have my friends. I didn't have my I didn't even have my family out there. So it was just straight. You feel like it's a fresh start. Yeah, well, most definitely. That's what I told him. Like you know, I'm not mad. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. It's like like me and Danny talked. The, the first couple of days, I ain't gonna lie. I was I was nervous. He was in, in Russia for a week. I, I didn't know if I was making the right decision. First day we we um, we talked and everything. We did mitts. I was missing. I couldn't catch him. I I, I, I was uh, we were off. And he told me it's gotta it's gonna take some time getting used to. About two three days you'll be fine and. Um, he was telling me what I was doing wrong, and then by by the second week we were on. We were, we were an asshole, and I was like, "All right, I feel good." And then the third week, Monday, it was excellent. So, presenting a rematch, would you like to take that fight, or would you like to move on to something different? Uh, it's up to my managers. It's up to my coach. Danny's my uh, he, he's he's my trainer now. It's up to them. I mean, I'm just a fighter. I do my job. I get ready, and I, I honestly don't care who who's in front of me, especially now that I um that I'm back in it. I mean, you guys see me when I was fat, when I was uh I didn't look too good. I was I was sloppy. I was fat. You know, I was chunky. I didn't have the the right um the right game plan. I didn't know how to drop weight right, and I would always come in heavy. And now, but this is my my third fight. I'm always under. I'm always I feel good. I, I think I look good. So you know. You feel stronger now that you're Oh yeah, I, I feel real strong. So when I go to 126, you know, we, we still have, we still have a, a, a lot of, a lot a lot of growing up to do, you know, but we're going to get it done. You know, I'm only 23 years old and we're going to keep going forward. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans, to your following out there? Same thing, like I always say, you know, I don't just train for myself. I train for my family, I train for my friends, I train for the fans. I want them to know that every time they announce my name that I'm fighting, they're going to know they're getting they're going to get a, a you know, Andrew Concio at 100%. You know, in all my fights I've shown. Mm-hmm. Even when I, you know, in the Garcamo fight when when I felt that I was down, you see, you know, my eyes closed, but guess what? I'm not going down. I'm going to keep going forward. Yeah. And that's just the way it is and I just want my fans to know when they announce my name, I'm at 100% for them, not just for me. You know, I'm I'm there to win for them as well. So, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, thank you. Thank you.